dear students greetings and a very warm welcome for the session in this session i'm going to discuss with you common roots and point of intersection and how do these two things differ if you are not aware of this concept under pressure situation in exam you can make a fumble here and there so pay a huge attention here and try to get hold of the fundamental we'll discuss it through an interesting example here comes the example number of common roots between the two equations we have two cubic equations and we have to find out number of common roots between the two equations so first of all for finding out the common root let me assume first function is y1 and second function as y2 and first of all we have to evaluate y1 equal to y2 if i evaluate y1 equal to y2 we have x cube plus 3x square plus 4x plus 5 should be equal to y1 equal to y2 x cube plus 2x square plus 7x plus 3 coefficient of x cube is unity on both ends so x cube x cube will eventually get cancel out we have here x square 3x square minus 2x square and here it will be minus uh, 7x plus 4x minus 3x and plus 2 should be equal to 0 this is a quadratic equation or quadratic function that can be linearly written as x minus 2 into x minus 1 is equal to 0. This can be factorized into two linear factor x minus 2 and x minus 1. We all are aware of it. Now, we can say that x equal to 1 and x equal to 2 are the solution for this quadratic equation. In terms of common root and point of intersection, pay huge attention here and, and try to understand what are these points. These points are merely point of intersection and they are not common roots absolutely try to understand it because we are getting value of x as 1 and 2 and if we put any of these values in any of the above equation none of the equations are going to be satisfied if we put x equal to 1 this can never become 0 because all coefficients of the equation are positive. So, any positive value will never satisfy this equation and neither it will satisfy the second equation. Because the values of x that we are getting here x equal to 1 and x equal to 2 are positive values and coefficients are also positive for the equation. So, neither x equal to 1 nor x equal to 2 will make any of these two equations cannot be becoming 0. So, what are these points? These points are merely point of intersection. These points are not common roots. These points are merely point of intersection. Hence, common roots for the equation is 0. There is no common root between the equation. These are merely point of intersection. We'll dive a bit deeper into the concept and try to get a strong hold of the concept so that we will never be able to make a fumble here and there across the questions. Now, अच्छे ढंग से आप एक बार समझ लेंगे जब मैंने y1 equal to y2 रखा मुझे दो point मिले x equal to 1 and x equal to 2 these points are merely point of intersection और ये common root नहीं है इन में से कोई भी point equation को satisfy नहीं कर सकते हैं क्योंकि सारे को सारे coefficient equation के positive है और ये value भी positive है any positive value will never satisfy any equation which has all positive coefficients अब इसके गहराई में उतरते हैं और एक बार बहुत अच्छे से clarity ले लेते हैं कि यहां पे हो क्या रहा है व्हाट हाउ डू आई रिफाइन रूट्स इन माय क्लास सो आई ऑफन से दैट रूट्स आर नथिंग बट इट इज पॉइंट्स ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन रूट्स आर पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन विद एक्स एक्सिस रूट्स आर पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन विद एक्स एक्सिस वेयर सो एवर एनी कर्व इंटरसेक्ट एक्स एक्सिस टचेस एक्स एक्सिस दोस पॉइंट आर नोन एज रूट्स ऑफ द इक्वेशन for example, let us consider a very simple quadratic function x square minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0 can be factorized into two linear factor x minus 2 and x minus 3 is equal to 0. So, x equal to 2 and x equal to 3 are known as roots for the equation. This quadratic function or this parabola, by default any quadratic function is a parabola, this is going to intersect x axis at two distinct points 2 and 3, 2 and 3. So, these points 2 and 3 are known as distinct real roots of the quadratic equation. So, here are the roots of the quadratic equation, right? But the equation should be satisfied, the curve should be meeting x axis. 
देन ओनली दे विल बी क्लासिफाइड एज द रूट फॉर द इक्वेजन यू विल आस्क सर देन वॉट आर दीज पॉइंट दीज पॉइंट आर मेयरली पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन हाउ आई कैन प्रूव दैट वेरी सिंपल माई डियर स्टूडेंट बहुत अच्छे से इस चीज को एक बार देख लेंगे और बिल्कुल क्रिस्टल क्लियर इस वाले कंसेप्ट को कर लेते हैं यदि मैं इस इक्वेशन में एक्स इक्वल टू वन रखता हूं इफ आई पुट एक्स इक्वल टू वन या वन प्लस थ्री प्लस फोर प्लस फाइव दैट इज इक्वल टू थर्टीन सो एट एक्स इक्वल टू वन दिस फंक्शन इज गिविंग मी वैल्यू थर्टीन एंड एट दिस फंक्शन इज ऑल्सो वन प्लस टू प्लस सेवन प्लस थ्री दिस इज ऑल्सो इक्वल टू थर्टीन सो बोथ द इक्वेजन आर यूल्डिंग द सेम वैल्यू ऑफ वाई That is equal to thirteen. So that means both the functions are intersecting. Both the equations are intersecting well above x-axis. They are not intersecting on x-axis. They are intersecting well above x-axis. Dusra point ami yaha pe rakh lete x equal to in a very similar way. Let put x equal to so two q will become eight. Three into two is square. That will become twelve. Four into two will become eight plus five. Eight plus twelve plus eight plus five. 20, 28 and 5, 33. So this value will come out to be 33. So at x equal to 2, both functions are yielding me a value 33. Both. Here we will keep x equal to 2. It will also come out to be 33. If we put x equal to 1 in both of them, it is coming out to be 13. If we put x equal to 2 in both of them, it will come out to be 33. That means the curves are intersecting well above x-axis. कॉमन रूट्स के लिए क्या होना चाहिए इंटरसेक्शन विद एक्स एक्सिस होना चाहिए यहां पे द कर आर इंटरसेक्टिंग वेल अब एक्स एक्सिस दे आर हैपनिंग द इंटरसेक्शन पॉइंट्स इज हैपनिंग वेल अब द ग्राउंड इट शुड हैपन ऑन द ग्राउंड देन ओनली वी कैन से कॉमन रूट्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल कॉमन रूट तब आएंगे सपोज एक कर्व कोई एक्स एक्सिस को इंटरसेक्ट कर रहा है एंड द सेकेंड कर्व ऑल्सो इंटरसेक्ट एक्स एक्सिस साइमटेनियसली एट दो पॉइंट वी आर एवर द फर्क first curve was intersecting this is the condition for the common roots the point of intersection should happen on x axis simultaneously on x axis then we can say it will be common roots here they are point of intersection because none of these values satisfy the equation y is not becoming zero in either of the cases these are merely points of intersection and they are not common roots कॉमन रूट फॉर द इक्वेजन विल स्टैंड आउट टू बी जीरो संक्षेप में एक बात को बहुत अच्छे से क्लियर कर लीजिए कॉमन रूट्स निकालने के लिए सबसे पहले हमें y1 वन इक्वल टू वाई टू यानी पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन आएंगे हमारे यदि ये पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन इस इक्वेजन को सेटिस्फाई करते हैं दे विल बिकम कॉमन रूट्स इफ दे आर नॉट सेटिस्फाइंग द इक्वेजन हमें वैल्यू रखने की जरूरत ही नहीं थी बिकॉज द कोफी यहां पर दोनों रूट हमारे पॉजिटिव आ रहे हैं और पॉजिटिव कोफिशियंट है तो ये कभी भी इक्वेजन को सेटिस्फाई नहीं करेंगे अर्थात दे विल मेयरली रिमेन टू बी मेयरली पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन दे विल नॉट बिकम कॉमन रूट्स बिल्कुल अच्छे से क्लियर हो गया होगा अगर ये कंसेप्ट इफ यू गेट अ स्ट्रॉन्ग होल्ड ऑफ द कंसेप्ट नाउ obviously truth does not mean any testimonials it can be just check through examples to ek bar hum jaanch kar lete hain ki aapko concept aaya ya nahi aaya samajh mein pay huge attention to this question this you have to do on your own and i will be waiting for your answers in the chat window please be aware of one thing here the question is not asking about common roots he is asking about the given equation intersect how many times within this restricted interval the given two equation intersect how many times the question is very clear about examiner is asking you point of intersection and not common roots your answers are highly awaited in the chat window we shoot your answers and let us know whether you have understood the concept thoroughly or not i wish you all the best in all your endeavors may you always rise higher and Shine brighter. Thank you so much.